Even back in 2011, Skyrim settlements were looking pretty empty and unfinished. Too small in size, too underfilled with both people and clutter, how the actual city expected to be. But this is also applied to interiors nonetheless. Most of shops and taverns look the same no matter if they are located in Whiterun or Solitude. There is almost no distinct interior design to them, and palaces of jarls and kings look just like a huge shallow rooms with throne and a long table placed in the middle. Today it's time to change that, overhaul the most amount of interiors possible with most beauty attached. And not only most prominent places like Dragon's Reach and Blue Palace, but everything possible – shops, inns and taverns, longhouses and even small single houses of town and city residents, finally making them look like they are actually inhabited by people and not a being a boring clones of each other, look distinct and complete. In addition, I will not only demonstrate the result and provide the base models for such a setup, but also show a simple tutorial, clearly showing you how you can cover hundreds of cells by dozens of mods and make them all compatible with ease. Let's take a look.
why it's easier than you think. Indeed, the amount of mods for changing Skyrim interiors is not a problem itself. There are always few massive compilations and a wagon of smaller standalone mods for a single cells. Yet here, you may say, the biggest problem is to make them all compatible. Let's say you take three massive interior overhauls for maximum coverage, but overhaul 1 is covering same 20 cells as overhaul 3 does, and overhaul 2 in turn covers 15 same cells as overhaul 1. When multiple mods affect the same cell, it's almost guaranteed leads to visual glitches like floating light sources and clutter, invisible walls, FPS drops, etc. What a mess, right? Well, not quite. When it comes to exteriors, that's indeed a bigger problem as you cannot properly see the conflict's position in Xedit and basically you must use Creation Kit to solve exterior overhaul conflicts, which is of course really tedious to use. For the interiors though, it is much simpler as every interior cell has only one cell type section which you can use in Xedit, meaning 100% of edits to this cell are stored in this section, which means to see which mods and how affect this or that interior cell, all you need to do is to load the mods in Xedit, click on the cell section and simply look through each cell one by one, surely knowing that you see exactly each and every mod affecting it. Now to make it more clear, let's do this together in details. In this example, I'll be working to solve conflicts between mod plugins of four complex interior overhauls. Unique shops and stores, enhanced interiors, better interiors and the useless shop and interior overhaul. First of all, checking their plugins to load them into Xedit. When it's all loaded, what we need is to make only one such overhaul affect every single cell. Which one depends purely on your taste. Open the mod pages, look on the screenshots and decide which mod you prefer to take over for this or that cell. Check the plugins you will work on again, then right click and choose Apply filter to show conflicts, selected files only. Now let's expand the first plugin record and then expand the cell section. In the left half there is a column with a list of all conflicting cells. In the right half, from left to right, based on your load order, you will see the list of all plugins affecting this cell. First cell, Riverwood Trader. I didn't touch because there is only one interior overhaul affecting it as you can see, the unique shops and stores, having only a minor conflict with uh, ELFX in terms of lighting colors. I choose to keep the mod lighting colors over ELFX, so as it is loaded after already, I simply didn't touch it. If you, for instance, prefer to have ELFX lighting scheme, you can simply drag and drop the ambient color values from ELFX Enhancer plugin right on top on these mod values. Simple as that. Oh no, red conflicts incoming. Next comes the Dragon's Reach. Looking from the left to right in the right pane once again, we see the base game edits are overwritten by uh, ELFX edits. Then goes Unique Shops and Stores and lastly Enhanced Interiors plugin and its ELFX patch. Both these mods obviously place a lot of clutter in the cell and so conflict heavily. Here, I personally want enhanced interiors to take effect, so I want unique shops and stores out of the picture in Dragon's Reach. What to do? As we are inside Unique Shops and Stores plugin itself at the moment, simply click on Dragon's Reach and delete it. Yep, it is as simple as it looks. Next cell, Carlotta Valente's house. Here, I want unique shops and stores to affect it, so enhanced interiors need to be removed. Oh, come on, this means I need to go to another plugin, find that cell there, delete, and then return to this plugin. That's confusing as hell. Well, you do not actually need to do so. We're simply clicking on the enhanced interiors plugin name right here in the Conflicts tab to the right, and then clicking on Remove. That's it, no need to go anywhere, so you can keep going through the list linearly. Now, Bellator General Goods. 
Here I actually prefer not the unique shops, not the enhanced interiors, but the useless interiors overhaul. That's it, you have the complete control over what to keep and what to remove. Simply go through the list of conflicting cells one by one, deleting records from mods you don't want and keeping the ones you prefer to take effect. In the end, just do not forget to confirm the changes when closing X edit. Lastly, one more tip. If you will look back to the left part again, to the column named Editor ID, the IDs there are nothing else but the IDs of the cells in the game engine, which means when you, for example, not quite sure what to do and just want to see how all these mods affecting a certain cell directly in game, you can use the COC console command with the ID of the needed cell, as the shown on the screen right now, in the console in game to instantly teleport to the cell. This is really useful for testing and saves you a lot of the time compared to visiting each cell by feet and fast travel in real time. Now then, let's look how it goes. Now all our interior cells should have looked fine and have no floating clutter and such stuff. For instance, let's check Sadri's used wares, which now should be affected only by immersive grey quarter mod because I removed edits from 4 other mods for it. And damn you Cine, this whole scene was a lie, wasn't it? There was a floating candle right in the middle of a room. Worry not, sometimes it happens simply because some not, let's say, first glance obvious mod places stuff in the cell, meaning you still didn't delete it. If you don't know which mod it comes from, it is also not a problem. Open the console and click on this pesky bastard. For this information to appear, you need to have MFG console mod installed. To the right, you will see the name of plugin which added it, and in our case, that was ELFX. Lot ELFX and Immersive Grey Quarter in XEdit look in the Cell section and here they are. A few candles and some other scenes placed by ELFX. Delete ELFX changes from this cell, same as we did to other mods, and let's check again. Yep, everything is just fine now. No floating candles, no clipping clutter, no weird light sources or mists. As you have noticed, the process itself is pretty intuitive and not hard by any means. It doesn't require any technical knowledge from you, only a bit of your time, depending on how many mods you have, of course. We have succeeded in what we wanted to do. Good job! In addition, I left a base list of mods for the ultimate interior overhaul setup in the video description, which you can use as a solid base. Much more are listed in the guide, there is almost infinite amount of combinations for you to choose from, so go check it out. That's all for now folks, hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Drop your own thoughts about preferred interior overhauls and smaller mods in comments. Don't forget to enable channel notifications and join our Discord to always be in touch. Stay tuned, stay healthy and stay happy. Scimitar Gaming here, signing out.